Hi, I'm Ashley Dvorkin for Fox Lifestyle. If you've ever seen an episode of VH1's Mob Wives, you know you're dealing with a show full of women who don't hold back. And today they're dishing all about their signature dishes. Star of Mob Wives, Renee Graziano, creator of the show Jennifer Graziano, and their sister and restaurateur, Lana Graziano, join us now to talk about their new cookbook, How to Use a Meat Cleaver, Secrets and Recipes from a Mob Family's Kitchen. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay, so how to use the meat cleaver? Is that uh, lesson number one in the book? <laughs> uh, that's just a catchy title. I know. <laughs> and now tell us how this came about. How did you decide? To, why did you decide to make a cookbook? You know, who's the biggest chef in your family? Well, Lana's definitely, of the three of us, Lana's definitely the biggest chef. Um, and she's kind of the inspiration of the cookbook because she's not on the Mob Wife show for various reasons. So we kind of wanted to do a project that she could be a part of, work on it together, and bring it to life. So that's where we started it, and we're going to keep going from here. And what is mealtime like in your household, in your family? Is that just when the whole family gets together? That's when all the bonding time is? Tell me, like, give us a little insight into what that's like in your house. It's like feeding time in the zoo. Uh, no. Uh, no. When, they, when someone rings that bell for food, everyone sits down and is on their well best behavior. Now, do you, yeah, all the kids are together. It's great. Great. Do any of you ever get, you know, territorial in the kitchen in the sense of if you're hosting and somebody comes in and, you know, are you very overprotective over your recipes when you're making your own meals? And not me. I'm like a please take over and do it all yourself type of girl. Yeah, no, I'm not territorial in the kitchen. I'm just I, I would say I, I was. was. I would say I am. Okay. I'd like to control the whole situation oh, when yes, it comes to the does. food. Right. When it's your signature dish. Um, now, I have some of your signature dishes here. I was hoping you might be able to give us some recipes and just, you know, what your secrets are to these. Uh, we have Lana's meatballs. So tell us what goes into those. Um, I use chopped meat, pork, gr um, ground pork, ground veal, garlic, parsley, basil, grated cheese, salt, pepper, and I like to soak my stale Italian bread and break it up and put it all in. All right. Soak well, it in water. Okay. And uh, we also have beef <laughs> stew. Whose is that? It's mom's, actually. Yes. So tell us about that. What goes into that? And, you know, what was it like for you also to pull these recipes that I assume have been in the family for a long time? Um, what goes into the stew is basically onions and... Um, Cubed beef, a uh, can of carrots, carrots, a can potatoes. of uh, tomato sauce, and you have to cook it to get the meat very tender. As far as putting the recipes together, it was fairly easy. I just gathered them up, put them down on paper, and I try to simplify them for the cooks out there that don't really know how to do it, um, they're, you know, to do it a simpler way. And um, any the other beef stew definitely holds some memories too. That's what the I was going to ask. Yeah. Yes. So some of them hold. <laughs> what are some of the ones that are, are really you know your favorites because of the memories behind them? Mine is definitely chicken cutlets. I made them with my grandmother, and my mother growing up. Every time I came home from college, there would be chicken cutlets on the table. <laughs> Every time I did well in school, there was chicken cutlets on the table. So for me, it's definitely the good old chicken cutlet. <laughs> Now, Good old chicken cutlets. Yeah, is. chicken cutlets. Um, now, this is just one of, of course, many projects. I want to ask you a little bit about the show. Um, are you very used to it now? At first, were you nervous, worried, you know, doing a reality TV show? And now are you so used to just having cameras around 24-7? It's second nature to me. Cameras, that, they don't bother me at all. When they're not around, I'm kind of lost without them. <laughs> And, um, and so now, you know, all of that, all the nerves, any worry, it's gone. And, and, and let me ask you, what are, do your fans say? What is one of the biggest comments you get from them in terms of what they tell you about why they enjoy watching the show? Uh, my fans seem to, the, most of the, the majority of my fans say thank you because I've made a change in their life. I had a young man yesterday come to the book signing, and he said if it wasn't because of me, 
Uh, he didn't think he could go on any further. So I have a lot of people that have connected with my depression or my relapse, and they have really made a turnabout in their life. So I guess for whatever I show, my uh, good, bad, my ugly, it's worth it in the long run because somebody is saving their own life or someone else's life. Sure. And now um, from the show to the cookbook, there's also spinoffs of the show. And what other, other projects do you have, these like sidebar projects that you have going on because of the show now? Well, what I wanted to do was kind of figure out a way where we can build an empire that will live on beyond the show. So for the family, we have this cookbook, and um, we have two more coming, hopefully, one being an all-fish uh, version called Sleeping with the Fishes, another one being a pasta version called We'll Make Your Pasta You Can't Refuse. We have a family food line coming called Macaroni Graziano, uh, Graziano Macaroni Company, and that's pastas, sauces, oils, uh, vinegars. And we have a family wine, Grazie by Graziano. Renee's got her mob candy brand. My uh, own mob candy brand, <laughs> which is jewelry, dresses, fun outerwear, great hoodies. And I'm also launching bath, beauty, and bikinis this spring. <laughs> oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, and then the three of us are going to open a restaurant together. Uh, we're looking for spaces now to hopefully open up in the summer out in Jersey. So much. Where? Where are you looking? Down the Jersey Shore. Okay. So much going on, including, yes, the show. Still, you can tune in on VH1 for Mob Wives and the book, How to Use a Meat Cleaver. And it sounds like you're doing signings as well. So folks can yes. go and look up where to meet you in person and get a copy. Thank you all so much for joining us. Nice talking to you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. For Fox Lifestyle, I'm Ashley Dvorkin.